Hi guys, it's Paul Pluter. Paul Pluter on the Archie Luxury and the Elite Broadcasting Channel. Guys, today I'd like to make this video about free speech in Australia. This is in my ongoing series, The Truth About Australia. Click on the little question mark in the corner and you will see uh, more videos that I've made, The Truth About Australia. Today, guys, I want to talk about free speech, <coughs> free speech, and uh, I this this really relates to the state of Queensland. And I got to tell you, when I was a kid, we uh, we had a very conservative premier, Sir Johannes Bjorki Peterson, Sir Joe, and the state itself there, well. We were very conservative. You you couldn't just demonstrate in the street. Uh, you could be arrested for doing such a thing. There was a lot of lot of sort of controls, and inevitably the the uh, the Joe government fell into disrepute with the Fitzgerald inquiry, and uh, I got to tell you, you had some Labor governments come in. So. I'm very much, you know, I kind of value free speech. And uh, one of the premiers of Queensland, Peter Beattie, he was actually arrested when he was at university protesting against apartheid. And the Joe government, you know, they, they took him away, etc., etc. And, of course, you know, so, you know, I'm very aware of free speech and the lack of of it in Queensland. What is the absolute disaster is that I thought with a Labour government in power, the Palaje, it's actually Palachuk because it's Polish and not French, I thought we would have some free speech and if you wanted to make a complaint or let yourself be heard, you had those sort of rights. Uh, I didn't want to demonstrate. I didn't want to do anything like that. I just I'm a lower middle class person who sent a few letters off. Um, I actually wrote to the state Labour Transport Minister Sterling Hinchcliffe and told him of some deficiencies in the rail system. I told him this. I wrote to him and... Uh, you know, I wanted to get some change. I wanted to make things good because I'd like to improve things. There's no point just complaining, complaining, complaining. I've always said you've got to put your first foot forward. Let them know what the problems are. Maybe no one has told them. Well, fast forward a bit. And uh, basically, in my case there, I wrote to many politicians in the state. They ignored my advice. And then when it exploded and turned out I was exactly on the money, I told the press, told the press. And uh, so what crime did I do? Well, I made the state government look bad, the state Labour government. And I thought, man, I'd be safe. I'm not a public servant. I haven't done anything wrong. I, I... I'm simply a, uh, a YouTuber trying to uh, make things that are bad. I look at things that are bad and improve them. So uh, I didn't think I'd have any problems. And I made a, I had some leaks that came out. I got information I passed on to the media, etc., etc. And the biggest crime I did is I made the state government look fucking stupid. I made the state government look stupid. And I thought that's okay. We got free speech, man. Free speech. Free speech, man. And how wrong I was. See what they had done. This Labour government. Because of the Joe days, they had the Fitzgerald inquiry as they, they develop this kind of, they give it really trendy names. They call it anti-corruption. Uh, they call it the crime, cr 
crime is, you know, they give it all these trendy names, anti-money laundering division, you know, all these really sexy names there. Uh, crime Corruption Commission, you know, just really trendy, cool. They're like superheroes. Um, unfortunately, 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 what has actually happened in reality, they've formed these anti-corruption kind of government bodies, which is a division of the police force. If we were in 1930s Germany, you would say it's the brown shirts, the Gestapo. And their job is to, well, guess what? They want to interview me because... I made the government look bad. That's right. I made the government look bad. They want to know your sources. So what's happened is they got these trendy name Crime Corruption Commission, CCC. They decided to... They decided to... They decided to uh, summons me to a coercive interview. A coercive interview? What the fuck is a coercive? Well, that's an interview. It's kind of like when the mafia wants to interview you. It's kind of like a sit down, uh, except it's worse. See, you cannot refuse. You basically, um, they have a thing called a star chamber from medieval England where the star chambers existed because high ranking officials could never get a fair trial or they could never be penalized because of their position in the community so they developed these star chambers star chambers so coercive interviews um so the state government in this really trendy ccc name crime corruption commission decided to force me to attend an interview coercive interview so that means Normally, if the police want to interview, you have the right to silence. You do not have to answer questions. You do not need to say anything. Now, you can be charged by the police, but you can keep your mouth shut. Probably a good idea. In fact, there's a great video which says you should never, ever talk to the police. I'll put a link up here on that video. So basically... The state government, well, they used the CCC to drag me into a coercive interview. <gasps> and the penalty, if you don't want to attend, perjury, 12 months in prison. If you refuse to answer questions, twelve up to 12 months in prison. If you tell anyone you've even gone to this coercive interview... <gasps> up to 12 months in prison. So it's quite a serious kind of uh, interview process. Yes, you can take a lawyer in, but you can't tell even your wife. If you tell your wife, you know, technically, technically you would be breaking the law in Queensland. So, 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 they force you in, they ask, you have to reveal, you have to answer their questions. And if you so much as anything, they, if they want a body, they want a body, they're doing these coercive interviews. Coercive interviews! Well, you know, it's also nerve-wracking to go there. I subsequently went on a, I had depression, I've had, uh, it's like tra post-traumatic stress. My diet went, exploded. Basically, I lost five kilos <laughs> the week of the interview. And then I comfort ate and ate and ate. Mm, very, 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 very. Um, eventually, the CCC, they then wanted a body because someone's made the government look bad. So they look at things. And, um, yes, they try and nab, <laughs> shoot the messenger. That's been a very good way. So this is free speech. Look, you may 
think we have free speech in Australia, but we don't, especially in Queensland under a Labour government, they will come and hunt you. They will get the CCC to drag you into a coercive interview and you cannot refuse. It's like if uh, John Gotti asked you to come to a sit down. You don't really have any choice. So this is what happens in Queensland. Free speech, you make the government look bad, they can use these star chambers to summons you. And then, you know, it's all the little, the powers of these, these bodies. So you have no right to silent, no right to not attend, no right, no real rights at all. So this is Queensland under Labour, under a Labour government. Very, very nasty. All I wanted to do was make the trains run better. I wanted to help the trains. I wanted to make the trains run better. Yes, I wanted to make the trains run better. Free speech in Australia. There ain't no fucking free speech. They will nab you. They will nab you. They'll take you off the street. They will get fucking nasty. Fucking nasty. I mean, if you're a cr career criminal, going to a star chamber really doesn't fucking scare you. But if you're a lower middle class sort of guy, overweight white guy, well, fuck. Fuck, it scares the shit out of you. Then, of course, being a lower middle class person, you think, well, I need legal representation. I need a lawyer, a solicitor. Um, 400, 500 bucks an hour. Yes, that's correct. So, you know, very, very clever idea. They get you to go to these things and a middle class person would easily chew up five ten thousand dollars worth of money uh and then then of course they weren't happy with interviewing said archibald chesterfield the third no so they 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 got me for cutting the cu the, the the tags off cushions they got me for cutting tags off cushions and i needed to get a barrister about a good barrister is uh thousand bucks an hour yes so thank you this is how it is free speech in queensland i don't fucking think so the government will find a way they can get the cc's and it's all so trendy crime and corruption commission <gasps> this is a watchdog but they're using this watchdog to get a whistleblower what a bunch of Fucking cunts! What a bunch of fucking cunts! And this same watchdog committee, you know, it's interesting in the press at the moment. Our good lady, Jackie Trad. Jackie Trad is in a little bit of hot water because she had an investment property affected by her department's decision. And she decided to ring Alan McSparren on a weekend to clarify the legal implications. And obviously there's no problem with her doing that. But for Archie, cutting the, cutting the tags off cushions could be very, very dangerous. So I got to be honest with you, there is a way to get you. In the state of Queensland, in Australia, they will fucking come after you. They will fucking come after you. Hell's blazing. They will, they can use the star chambers to insist you attend and uh, they can cause a lot of grief and suffering. So, uh, my best advice is if you want to be a whistleblower in Queensland, if you see some problems you'd like to correct, shut your fucking mouth! Shut your fucking mouth! I ain't seen nothing! I ain't seen anything! Shut your fucking mouth! 
That's right. Shut your fucking mouth. Because I got to be honest with you. They, um, how do I put this? They have ways of making life very, 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 very uncomfortable for the person who is the whistleblower. So, best advice, shut your fucking mouth. You ain't seen, you didn't see anything, Your Honour. I, I got an eye infection. I didn't see anything, Your Honour. They will send the CCC to request you to go to a star chamber. Coercive interviews, yes. Star chambers and coercive interviews. It's all happening in Queensland. All because I didn't think the trains were running very well. Thank you, Queensland. You bunch of fucking cunts. You bunch of fucking cunts. Fucking cunts! That's what I think of you. You fucking cunts! And uh, this is how it is. So don't rock the boat in Australia. They will fucking get you. They will fucking get you. And they will make your life a fucking living hell. That's correct. They will make your life a fucking misery. So my advice is, if you see any... Anything's there. You want to have free speech. That is for... That is for rich people. That ain't for lower middle class, overweight white men to get involved with. Don't open your fucking mouth. They are vengeful sons of fucking bitches. That's right. So shut your fucking mouth, fatso. And don't say or see anything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is the disaster that is Queensland under a Labour government. You bunch of fucking assholes. So uh, that's how it goes, guys. I'm Paul Pluto. Look at more videos. The truth about Australia. Click on the little question mark in the corner. I'm not sure which corner it's in. And you can see more of my videos. Until next time, see you later, fuckers! Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now... Archie Luxury. Hi guys, it's Paul Pluta. And today guys, I would like to talk about a new sponsor, which I'm very proud to have on board. This is the Fur Boutique of Germany. That's correct. And you know, before you start getting really crazy with the animal livers and all these crazy left-wing communists out there, I want to say to you, furs have been used by man for hundreds of years for warmth and for to show luxury and superiority. And I'm very proud to hook up with Fur Boutique of Germany. That's correct. These people here know quality fur. In fact, I'm going to be ordering a fur, fur coat very, very soon for one of my lady friends. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. So this is fur. Um, I got to be honest with you. This is recycling at its greatest. This is a, um, it's a, it's a fur. They're selling quality furs in Germany. These are on the pre-owned market. This, are, this is, this is, this is, this is like the watches, the Rolex watches. I'm saying buy pre-owned, pre-owned. No different with luxury fur. Luxury fur. I highly recommend it. Uh, this company here, uh, they ship, Fur Boutique Germany, they ship via DHL Premium. Uh, they are quality sellers. They have over 500 fur coats in stock. Uh, large quantities, good quality. This is a chance to live the dream. Come on, guys. We know in the 70s, you know, all these animal livers and fuckers, they, they all went nuts. But... 
These fucking little rodents, you, you, you befriend these rodents, they bite you. They bite you. So wouldn't it be nice to make these little fuckers into a fur coat? So i got to be honest with you. I totally support fur. I totally support fur. I totally support it. And if you raise the furs in a humane, raise these animals in a humane environment, and then you turn them into coats, well, who am I to say anything wrong with that? We eat meat, we eat cow, don't we? We eat cow. I'm a meat eater. I'm not a lesbian, left-wing vegetarian. No, I need my protein. I'm very proud to be associated with Fur Boutique Germany, and I stand behind their full range of stock. Thank you. Click on the link down below to visit their store. Oh. Hey, Archie Luxury fans. If you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life.